Hey, this is Dan, Bob, and Eric from Gigaboots.com. Welcome to our quick play of Randall's Monday, a new game on Steam. So, Dan, what is this? This is a point-and-click adventure called Randall's Monday. Th that was very informative. Only inhabited by freaks and geeks, but also a dwarf named Carlos. A journey to the dump. So this is like the Twilight Zone. It has a Twilight Zone parody in it. So this okay. is a point-and-click adventure, and it has advertised itself as having ton of geek humor and pop culture references, or geek culture references. That is always the pathway to quality. Yes. New allies. Betrayals. We all look Duff Beer. Yep. Reference one. Also, that says the orange oh, on that cardboard box. Enjoy so Slurm. And enjoy Slurm. So there's our Futurama reference. Wow, it's just... And this is the first screen of the game. Yeah. So that is what this game does. Dude, it is references honestly, the game? Never yes. Out of his room. I haven't seen him for like six months. The main character's name is Randall. He like. is voiced by the guy who played Randall in the movie Clerks. The bathroom? No, of course. That's what all the We're very for. thrilled. About playing this. Uh, I bet he's dead. Nah. There's some very loud walking the sounds. Game. Yeah, the audio yeah, is no. weird. Wait for him to Randall, gulp. You're not talking okay. about our wedding present, are you? Relax, honey. We're talking about his roommate. Whoa. <laughs> he's yeah, gulping the shit out of that beard. <laughs> won't be able to grow anyway. Science is still pretty far from being able to create a wrapping pig. I'll have to think of something else, Matt. Don't worry, dude. It's the thought that counts. Guys, I don't want any scenes at my wedding. Is that asking too much? Scenes? So... What do you mean by scenes? You know exactly what I mean. We've been friends for a long time now, and I know what your idea of an unforgettable experience is. So now I get to choose my reaction. Oh my god. Like what? When I give that carload of nuns directions to a lesbian bar? You mean when I put Matt's grandmother's den dentures on eBay? Hee <laughs> hee. Are you talking about that time we tried to summon, summon Freddie Mercury's drunk ghost? So which one do you guys want to choose? <sighs> They're all such good jokes. So I will go with number three. Are you talking three. about that time we tried to summon Freddie Mercury's Because it involved Freddie Mercury? <laughs> that was quite unforgettable. It was, and I'd be lying if I'm falling I asleep. Funny, <laughs> that that sound was me hitting the floor. Weird stuff <laughs> no. Party. It's gonna be the most important day of my life, and I don't want you guys to ruin it. Well, it's your call, but everybody knows Matt can be really romantic everybody. when he wants to. Huh? Everybody, everybody knows. How come I don't then? Gulp. <laughs> that gulp. Oh, God, did, did they on, both have Sally. that same huge, ridiculous gulp? Almost every day. And it's insanely I'm loud. Super romantic. Yeah, sure. Do you mean when you belch it, or when you say it in binary code? No, he means when he belches it in binary code. You know, always gives it his I showed this to a friend earlier, yeah. uh, because I was playing it, and he came over to pick me up and do stuff. Uh, he, he noted that this looks like those YouTube animation things where you just pay a small amount of money, and then they make the yeah, animation for you or whatever. So I can ask these two questions, or I can just jump to the third. The so third will make this shorter, so yep. I will go for that. So that way we can get to the part that is at all gameplay. What? You want to move out? Come on, my mother just got us the Stovomatic 9000. I don't get it. Oh, what are we drinking again? What are we drinking again? Uh, some kind of beer, I think. Yeah, something like that. I miss the drug era. Those were the days. You bet. Oh, going on your house? okay. Well, I think Italy would be really romantic. The Big Ben, Eiffel Tower, the Pantheon. I just love to go there. Oh, Sally, I told you all that stuff is in Germany. Libya is still my top choice. Dying to see uh, I don't get the humor uh, for him. Yeah, he's an idiot. Can you get us I two guess... more beers when you're done, honey? But they're getting married oh, because funny. Even hotter. Just promise me you won't puke this time. Hey, come on. You can't promise that. Gulp. Sally, if we are getting married, you have to trust me. Besides, I don't like puking anymore. 
I feel scammed because you know I pay for the stuff that comes. <sighs> okay, it's just that, you know, what what's the matter, Eric? This is this is the game. You this guy wrote a lot of lines and voice actors you know and really stuff. Romantic? Let me guess. It's Another probably round? the most talkative point and click Sally, adventure since Oh, what's the name of that one? Leisure Suit Larry. Dude, like her once remember getting up. Engagement ring I got for Sally. What do you think? Sure looks expensive. Well, it's your money. That's just the best part. It cost me a Dorito. That is impossible, Matt. You stole it. You can tell me. Sometimes I take stuff that's not mine too. I know. Everybody knows. But I didn't steal it, dude. I got it from a bum that lives around my neighborhood. Then I think he likes you. <sighs> it was really weird. The guy was all out of his mind. He was going on and on about how this ring ruined his life, that it was cursed, that it would destroy the world. <laughs> Maybe that was a Laughing. Metaphor. Dude, you just gave him Accurately portrayed on his face. Yes. Ring? Yeah. I, I mean, he has a lot of expressions on, and frames for those expressions. <laughs> yes. I took it to a guy who told me that it's 780.563 karat gold, and somehow it's sapphire, ruby, diamond, and emerald plated. It also cuts glass, jump starts cars. Really? May I hold it? Dude, you're my best friend. That's why you're here. But I'll never let this ring near those kleptomaniac paws of yours. You'll never forgive me for the robo calculator incident, right? We were just kids. I'm, so <laughs> you, you guys have probably had enough of that. We're, we're going to cut to done? the first level. Okay. <laughs> where it sort of opens up at all. Okay, so this is the beginning of the first really opening up to be playable oh, area. Boy, what a night. Alcohol, puking, bloody. There was some brain, too. <laughs> well... I better get moving. I think I'm supposed to be working today. So he's got tons of references in here. He's got uh, Planet of the Apes, Day Polydeus. of the Tentacle. Uh, that that seems to be a thing. Uh, what was it? Sin City, but they oh, drew over the uh, dude's face. Yeah. And then Snatchers. That's the dude from Snatchers. And yeah, Polybius. Like he's a game boy and and lava lamp and Nate ball and the thing and then the cave story and then a Yoshi egg and a Mega Man helmet and Sonic Rogue Squadron and then Sonic logo but with the dude in it and then it says the Big Lebowski and there are a lot of things so there's also Hyrulean shield and a boomerang and Link outfit and we're just gonna pick up this newspaper instead of really spending any time looking at any of that because it's just a pile of random references because that's funny it is. Mortimer, I'm off to work. See his roommate. He never comes out of his room, so he oh thinks he's head. dead. Or his friend thinks he's dead. Knocking at my door again. And oh, the important part are, we cut out of I that intro you know is that... My father's gun and a scorching case Randall, of herpes. Cut the shit and open the door. He uh, took Tony? his friend's ring. Yeah. yeah. He took his wallet, which had his ring in it, and that happened in the intro. And it's a magic ring. I imagine. Oh, Demon cool. ring or whatever, yeah. <laughs> Allegedly, but so they heard you. that. But please, don't ever do that again. God damn it, Hicks. The what? See, his last name is Hicks, like kind of like Dante Nearly Hicks from Clerks. Oh, oh, he's Randall. Fact. Randall Hicks. Damn, Cannelloni. Uh oh. Because now he doesn't have to pay Kevin Smith, Smith I guess. Smith. I mean, he wouldn't have to pay him for a character named Randall voiced by that guy anyways. Yeah. I think Kevin Smith has the least worries here. I'm fairly certain I pissed in my closet again. Oh, do you know what day it is? So now I get to uh, choose another witty retort. No, no. Are you gonna try the interesting get thing is, the, plumbing? I don't the know whole thing staring at your that hairy ass crack all day. he... They paid for the I Randall voice right. actor, I don't see or the actor, to do I, Randall in this. So, on, like, the whole appeal here is hearing him say deal. funny things. Okay. But since there's the multiple choice good. thing, and I read them well, all through by the time I click it, kind of I tend to just skip the first thing he says anyways, because I already read it. And his delivery's kind of slow. 
I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So for someone who has no uh, attachment to that actor or character, like what's in this for you? Maybe Is you're a point and click whore yeah, who loves video game movies. references. Here's the thing though. I like video game references. You just play those fucking video games. Mr. Marconi, I have a problem. You I don't know what a problem. No, I wasn't. The thing is, my job's been getting me down lately. I'm being exploited, you know? There are always hundreds of orders that have to be delivered on their due date and in perfect condition. And do you know what the worst part is? I don't care. The customers, they're only worried about themselves. They never thank me or say, have a nice day. They treat me like dirt, you know? Yes. Like I have no feelings. We get they it. They say things like, the package is smashed. The package shouldn't drip. This is not the address you're looking for. Is it too much to ask that they just sign? I got nothing. This has sucked every bit out of me. Packages? Yeah, because yeah. the only thing you can say is really mean, hateful stuff. And as bad as this game is being to you, you aren't the type of person that's going to be like, only a fucking moron would make a game like this. No. Meanwhile, if Agro was here, I think this would be like minute 18 straight of him being like, this is shit. Or Agro would be drunk and be like, maybe this is some beautiful thing I don't understand. <laughs> I'd... They seem very just enamored with their own writing here. That they're yeah, it's like, a Kevin. This is hilarious. It's a Kevin Smith fan who also has the same disease of Kevin Smith, thinking that everything he says is great and hilarious. Now I don't hate on Kevin Smith heavily. He he does some good things. Like I think the best thing he's ever done probably is his music selections for his movies. As odd as that is, because he actually. He really pushes about. for that shit. The guy hasn't come out of his room for months. Mortimer is the perfect tenant. He keeps it this, down yeah, it just isn't important. gripping because oh, everyone's a like shithead. And Mark it's Mark taking Mark really Mark long Mark time to make that point. And I promised you, no more megaphone after Hey, at, at least we can take this as moment to be know, grateful Mortimer that uh, Kevin Smith isn't making a point and click game. Leave wow. That, I suddenly feel better about the world. Yeah. I have, to, I have to say that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. In I mean, the only I way you have to put way, that uh, whole yet a uh, no. fire on there. No, he doesn't no. seem interested. He will never okay. do it. Yeah, there isn't anyone he knows who's doing yeah. that, so he's not going to go into it. Like podcasting was a he he knew so someone who did podcasting, so then he got really heavily it. into that. What? As far as I, I have like heard. Well, they're still talking. Yeah, this just keeps going. Garbage can. Very funny, Dix. You know what? One call and I can have you turned into fish. Maybe I just don't. Nah, maybe is this the thing? Really How many with point and clicks? I, point and clicks. I haven't played a lot of them. Clear, I mean, they normally have team dialogue team. that's so supposed to be kind of funny, but it normally doesn't go on anywhere near this long, and it is funny. Normally, those two things are true about okay. it. Okay. Yeah, I can't. I've, I've played a decent number of them now, just for Giga Boots, and I can't think of any that just. Just sit around and do nothing for this long. They just love and to hear a lot of these, talk. And a lot of these decisions, you'll notice, don't even do anything. I just have to go through them all to hear every last bit Mortimer, of could you slip the half of the yeah. rent under the door? Old Marconi was here. Now he's out in the hallway yelling, Red rum, red rum. Mortimer, cut it out and give me the money or you're going to wake up tomorrow with my head in your bed. And you'll be next. Because when I tell him you've been writing Mrs. Marconi love letters, you're going down too, buddy. I mean, I did they forget this was a game? Of that I think but we you do things in? With that. I... One means no, two growls means yes. I don't, I don't... It just made me want you know, I really don't hit on games that want to make the point head. of the game the writing or anything else. Like... I thought Portal was really good. Portal 2 was funny, not mechanically superior to its predecessor. It just had more mechanics. I think the Stanley Parable's great. None of this really works for me. No, not an ounce of it. Um, By the way, I called him Cataloni and I laughed at his personal hygiene. Good luck with that. Well, I guess I can go to work and ask for a raise. I'm afraid I'll have to find a way to get out of here. I don't want to have to face my pony in that vein on his forehead again. Those two together <sighs> could take me I think, out for sure. I think for me, aside from the ceaseless dialogue, this encapsulates everything that's wrong here. The, yeah. the, 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 the big Lebowski Sonic logo. 
It just makes sense, Dan. Well, I could escape through the window, but that one doesn't lead to the fire escape. Okay, so let's go to so the one I that does. So I have to escape out the window, out the so window. that way I don't have to deal with Canaloni again. Oh, which is not his real name, but it's funny Ooh, to call him that. Fire escape, huh? Yeah, good idea. I like that metallic noise they make. Makes me feel safe. It's a pretty diabolical noise. What the hell was that? Was that the fire escape? Maybe we should think this through. So, wait. Although, I, I, I bet it's not as frightening as old Marconi's hairy vein. Same sound. Same sound. Same sound clip. Wow. The Maybe whole thing, too. Yeah. Judging by that noise, I'd say there's some scary ass creature in that alley. God. Oh, we needed to hear it a third time. The exact <laughs> same duration, too. In case you forgot. Whoa, whoa, seriously. I'm relatively too young to die. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna die here. But at least I will look death in the eye and say. <sighs> Just I'm stop, not stop, talk, stop you. talking. No. That is, they chose the format of game that involves the most talking because. They, they got this guy. They have a writer. You have to characterize and... your dude as someone we care about. That is not what this guy is. I don't give a shit about this guy. But that's, no, it's okay well, because this guy's supposed to be funny. Back. If he wasn't likable, but he was funny, it would work. Like BoJack Horseman. There has to be some thing that makes you want to even keep dealing with this character right and that's supposed to be the funny i guess but, but it's not it... enough I'm there's not it's the self-satisfaction i think yeah. of the delivery that really gets me oh yeah the like, way he's the way he says it, it is like i'm saying a funny thing and man i'm fucking funny well yeah I can't. he's randall from get clerks okay if kevin, you say so Smith's if kevin you clerks. say so kevin clerks um, so... They look didn't... Sonic's shoes on a thing. There's no buckle on it. They're Tails shoes. There's... Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> it's totally different. It's okay. So, I have a button to hold to see what things in a room I can click. Um, so you need the broomstick. I'm thinking. Have you ever gone farther than this, Dan? Just, just out of curiosity. You know, I'm trying my, my best to be really nice during this video. Okay. Fuck no. <laughs> yeah, this is... I played oh, 18 minutes, which was the prologue. Oh. It opened up. I saw a YouTube video of later parts of it. And, yeah, no, I'm... I'm I know this isn't for me. There's nothing this is gonna do at any... See? Atari! It spells Atari! And there's a picture of Pac-Man. And there yes. are Pac-Man magnets. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and see if there's anything in there. But yeah, I, I... A game's writing has to be really good for me to enjoy point-and-click adventure, or it needs to be Shadowgate and kill me in ridiculously yeah. fucking over-the-top ways. Yeah. Um, this... The writing in this really doesn't work for me. It's not even that I hate the way he delivers it. It's just not funny to me at all. It is like an even more indie, unpolished version, filtered version of a Kevin Smith. Uh... Oh, tuna and sandwich leftovers. That'll work. I think I better keep it. No. No. Okay. Here's the broom. Try the broom. Hit it with the broom. I don't want to start a fight. That animal looks. Yeah, you gotta hit the hook. Probably. And see that they got the controller on there, like the movie, the... I can't the release the... Indie game, the movie. Indie game, the movie. Kinda. Except for that used a normal controller, not the NES, uh... Weird one. I'm sure the duck hanger. So why couldn't you use the broom on the hook? I don't know. Let's do it again and he'll tell us. I can't release the ladder with just you this. You just can't do it! No, it just doesn't make sense, man! Maybe you gotta combine the items. Can you do that in this That's game? Just stupid. There's your That's answer. Just... But try combine the broom the and the coat hanger. For sweeping. Eh. Use the newspaper on the cat. If you. 
No, he doesn't want to start a fight. Oh, right. I'm afraid to touch her. Let me try the broom on the old lady. Are supposed to be used for sweet. But yeah, the broom and the and the uh, the coat hanger. See if that does anything. Yeah. Okay. Wow, look at that. And I still have some wire left. Oh, now I can open it. The bull duck thing. That's. <laughs> And that cat's dead. Phew, yeah. Perfect. We got rid of that stinking cat, and now the coast is clear. Things are looking up. You're cursed. Huh? You're cursed. Um, what now? I feel like this cursed. is probably made with some of those those so creators that, that just is made to make point-click adventures. Cursed. Now, see, here's the thing, oh, right? Uh-huh. Every one of those I know looks night? way rougher than this. Okay. But that's, you know, I me. That three I don't know. Jar of mayonnaise. Wait till I get down there. Like scum engine. Yeah. Right. That does it. No one curses Randall. Randall doesn't Bye -bye, need Mr. this. Rose Randall's going to start his own quick stop. Was that yeah. with Blackjack and Hookers? Uh, no, no. That it was, was with something else. You're cursed. Shit. What are the odds? Whew. That was close. I feel like I'm going to puke my heart out. Whew. This must Whoa. be what freedom tastes like. You're cursed. Yeah, I easy, easy. Are we? Yeah. How much? Huh? You. How much longer? Just what? Check and make sure are you doing a full let's play? Is aren't you telling me? Are you glad that we did something other than here. Sonic? No, I'm Sonic not. No, I'm not. I actually want to go. Good, back to Sonic. That's right. <laughs> you go back to Sonic. <laughs> you appreciate how fast he is. Make a police report. <laughs> 